Narrow the focus, increase the quality. This is a tweet that I saw back in April and I really liked it a lot. Reminded me of a time here at Service Express much earlier in my career, I think it was the early 2000s, when we are still trying to figure out how to grow and scale the company and we are selling service contracts and driving revenue and we kind of were still under the impression that all revenue was good revenue, meaning for us, in addition to wanting to get into the data center, and sell service contracts on servers and storage gear and mainframes at the time. We are also selling printer accounts. We are putting printers under, under maintenance for us. Now, printers are, are good to be under maintenance. It's a good business, a good revenue stream, profitable and all those things, but it wasn't for us. As we looked at the mix of our revenue, we looked and saw that 80% of our calls were coming from 20% of our revenue, and that was around the printers. Right? So we made a decision that we wanted to get out of the printer business and focus squarely inside the data center. And part of the reason we got in the printer business because we thought that was a step with a foot inside the door so we could get in there and then prove ourselves and grow into providing service in the data center. And uh, as the markets had matured, it really turned out to be a blocker that people thought of us as a printer company instead of a, a server company. So we made the decision that we we're going to get out of the printer business. Now, when we announced this and we started to put this into place, uh, some of the salespeople at the time were not very happy. They thought we were taking away opportunity for them to sell service contracts and make commission. There was concern around the company that we were not going to be able to continue double digit growth because here we were taking a big chunk of the revenue stream we wanted to eliminate and say we were no longer gonna sell those under service contracts. And so we just had to keep explaining why we were doing it had to do a little bit of trust me in here and we'll measure it. And if it's not going well, we'll change it. But we said we wanted you to not sell printer contracts, sell server contracts, even though I remember salesperson said, but I can sell them. They want to buy from us. And I said, I know that's great, but we don't need to sell everything that everybody wants to buy. We need to narrow our focus. And so that's what we did. We set about doing that. And a funny thing happened when you take away that opportunity to sell and narrow the focus, our results went up right? It actually increased revenue. It increased customer satisfaction. It increased our growth within the company because now we were very clear on what we did do and what we did not do. When we positioned ourselves as wanting to be squarely in the data center, we built all of our service training around that. We put all of our sales training around that and got really focused in that area and the results, the results took off. And so it was, it was sort of addition by subtraction if you will. And so it's scary to do that because people think you're taking opportunity away from them when what you're really doing is creating more opportunity. And when we're in front of customers and they would ask us about putting printers under contract, when we said, no, that's not what we do. Here's exactly what we do. It be, we created great clarity in front of our customers as well. So the selling process got much easier because you weren't trying to say yes to everything. Jim Collins in his books, Good to Great and Built to Last say, more companies die from opportunity consumption than opportunity starvation, meaning trying to be everything to everybody and do too much and you become adequate at best at a lot of things versus get really focused, be the best in the world at what you do and watch the results go from there. So think about your organization, think about your life. I think this stuff applies in our personal lives as well be around what we put into our life, allow in our life, the activities we do and, and the activities that we say no to and watch the results that will take place once you narrow the focus uh, from there. All right, take it, uh, check it out, try it, and let me know how it works.